and welcome in this new episode of Gur Codes. This time we'll be looking at the new property max lines for a label in Xamarin Forms. Um, actually, this property has been implemented by me. Um, there was an issue for it that people wanted to have a maximum amount of lines on a label, um, and I've implemented it and opened a pull request as I do for many things on the Xamarin Forms repository. Um, because it's all open source, so you can just go out and implement all the stuff on your own. And um, yeah, the pull request got accepted, so now you have the ability to use the max lines property on a label. And let's see how that looks like. So here we have just a file new solution, and here on line 5 you can see the default label that is generated out of the template for you. And here we can add the max lines. Um, so here it is, the new property max lines. It doesn't have any comments. I sh probably should have added that as well. But it is a simple integer. So you can just go do max lines is um, two. So now it will always be maximum of two lines. And when I run this on iOS and we wait till the simulator comes up, then yeah, we don't really see that much of a difference because of course our label is only one line right now. So um, yeah, we're going to have to get some longer text. And one way to do it is to go to Lorizel, um, which is the gang style lorem ipsum. So it's going to be Lorizel, Machizel, Frizzle Frizzle. And here we're gonna get just one paragraph of this gangster Laura Ipsum and go back to Visual Studio. We're gonna stop our debugging instance right here and put the text in our label and save it. So now when I run it, you should be able to see just two lines and the rest will be cut off. So here you can see, um, yeah, we can see just two lines and the rest is then clipped, so it's still there. You can use the max lines together with uh, some other nice properties. So if we just get these in the front, so we don't get distracted by the long, long text here. And you can also use it with a line break mode. So here we have line break mode, and we can set it to some values. Let's see. We can set it to no wrap, so it will just be one long line. We can set it to tail truncation, then we see the little ellipsis at the end of the lines. And you have middle truncation, so it truncates in the middle or at the start. Well, there's a couple of things you can do here. But if we add the tail truncation and we run it again, then you will see that it has two lines and that it will have the nice ellipsis at the end of our two lines. So now you can see we still have two lines, but with the ellipsis, we know there's more text uh, behind this. And when we now go back, we can add a button. So let's just go to a new line here, add a button with a text, which is read more. And we're go just gonna do the clicks right here and add a new event handler we're going to use in our code behind of course don't do this use a nice pattern like mvvm and actually we're going to have to name our label here so we're going to call this lipsum label and whenever the button is clicked we're going to say the lipsum label max lines is now 99 so we make sure that all the text is visible and well the tilt truncation can stay in place because the tilt truncation only kicks in whenever there is more text than it can show so when we run this now the simulator will come up in a second and with the click of our button we can read the rest of the text Oh, the button is all the way down here, but it still works. So now you can see whenever I click the read more, then it will expand the label and all the text is suddenly visible. So you can use this. Um, let's put our button also where our label is. And we let's, let's do this more in kind of a toggle button. 
So if lips and label max lines, let's make it two else lips and label max lines will be 99. So like this, we have a more toggle state. So now whenever we press the button, um, you can read more or less. So that's what you see happening in a lot of other apps like, like Facebook or whatever. Um, they just show you two lines and then it says, hey, read more. And whenever you tap on the read more, then it will expand. And well, usually you can also do uh, read less and then it will collapse back. And that's the kind of thing that you can achieve with this new property. So let's see how that works. We now have the read more here. And whenever you click this, then we will see all the lines here. And whenever we click it again, then it collapses back to the two lines. Um, the layouting is a bit wrong and you probably want a bit fancier design than this, but yeah, you know, it works. And of course the same goes for Android. So whenever we switch to the Android project and we would run it, then we would get the exact same result. I think there's a little bug in there right now um, because I'm doing it with a stack layout. And for Android, um, it doesn't seem to work with the stack layout because the stack layout only takes up that much space as needed. Um, so you probably want to use a grid here. So it just expands and collapses the way you expect it to be. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please watch the rest. I have a whole YouTube channel full of them. So um, please subscribe and I hope you will watch the rest of them and enjoy them as much and enjoy them as much as you enjoyed this one. Thank you.